Okay, <clears throat> E. The student concluded that these results could also be used to justify the order of reactivity of copper, magnesium, hydrogen and zinc. The student is not completely correct. Use the results in the table to explain why. Okay, so we've got to try and explain why. So the student is not completely correct and suggest one further experiment that would prove evidence for the student's conclusions. Okay, it's worth four marks. So one, two, three, four. So let's have a look at the table, first of all. So they think, the student thinks they can put these in the right order here. Okay. So which one is going to be the most reactive? The most reactive is the one that won't that, that so we've got the copper. We're going to try and read this now the other way around. Copper, magnesium, sulfur, and zinc. Oh, sorry, not sulfur, that's hydrogen. Okay, hydrogen and zinc. So <clears throat> what we're looking for now is we're looking for reactions that, well, um, what do we notice? Well, magnesium doesn't react with any of them. So magnesium is going to be the most reactive. Okay, we can, we can tell that straight away. Uh, which one's going to be the least reactive? Well, the least reactive uh, looks like it's going to be, so reading um, this way, we've got three changes here. So this one, zinc, um, looks quite reactive. It reacts uh, more, it reacts with everything. It doesn't react, sorry, it only reacts with metal W. So that looks like that second. Whereas here we're getting copper reacts with three things and hydrogen also reacts with the three things. So what we'd need to do here is to find out which one the difference between copper and hydrogen we'd need to react one more thing. Uh, and the easiest way to do that would be to add sulfuric acid and copper nitrate together. Okay. So what do we know? Well we know magnesium is the most reactive. Magnesium most reactive as it doesn't react, as it's not displaced. is not displaced by um, by x sorry x y w and z x <laughs> so do that right well x uh, w x y and z okay we know that uh, zinc is the second Zinc is second most reactive as only displaced by uh, W. Okay, so only W displaces it. The tricky bit we got there is that copper and hydrogen, copper and hydrogen are both displaced by three. Are both displaced by W, X and Y. W, X, Y. Okay, so we can't tell, uh, we can't tell what to do. So the, the easiest bit to do here would be to put some sulfuric acid plus copper together and to see if that reacts. If it does react, then copper is more reactive than the hydrogen. So suggest reacting copper and sulfuric acid. If reaction happens, then copper more reactive than hydrogen
if no reaction then hydrogen more reactive Okay, so displacement is all about does reaction happen or not. Okay, you can if it's with the same uh, type of thing, then you can uh, then you can compare the the scale of the reaction. But ultimately, it's normally about does a reaction happen or not. Okay, hope that helps.